Hey everybody, what I got here is a rigid R175RNF coil roofing nailer. I bought this thing off of eBay. It was a hundred bucks because I got to do my roof and I didn't want to spend a ton of cash. Got it hooked up today and what I found out was uh, it would drive the first nail but then it wouldn't advance the coil of nails to drive the second nail so I figured out what it was and I'm going to share it with you first thing we got to do on this thing is remove this cap screw it takes a four millimeter hex wrench and we got it removed and then the way you take this little panel off here on the back side, just kind of lift this up and there's a little lug right there that that pops into. Okay, with the panel removed, this is the culprit. There's an O-ring that needs to be replaced inside of here. So the next thing we got to do in order to get that off is flip the gun over and we got to remove that socket head cap screw. Before removing it, good idea to take the nails out. Get the coil out and here we go popping out the cap screw get that removed careful there's a washer right inside here it's like a shim washer and then this thing just pulls back off of that piston cylinder those little holes right there go over the cylinder and the, and the uh, socket head cap screws that hold the piston in place and that's what we got to get at next okay so here's the uh, removal of the uh, cover over the piston and the cylinder we have to remove these two socket head cap screws when you do it use your uh, finger and thumb to put pressure on this cap there's a spring inside there that's loaded and if you just remove these it may pop off and uh, the spring might fly at you so I'm gonna remove that and come back okay I've removed the two socket head cap screws and I'm just releasing the pressure with my thumb and there's the spring then you can just pull the cap and the spring out and that is the piston right there now to get the piston out, we got to flip the gun back over on its side here, and we re need to remove this pin right here. It's held in with two little rubber grommets on each side. They're like square O-rings, just got to take uh, any kind of a sharp tool. I use this tool here. Just reach underneath this one, and we want to remove the top one. Then we're going to use the pliers to grab hold of the bottom one and remove it. So uh, to get some room, you may have to trip this little release right here and move the uh, move the uh, guard up and remove that little square rubber bushing right there off of that shaft okay so there's the little square grommet removed from the end of the shaft there then I just grab it with a with a pair of needle nose right here and we're going to remove that uh, pin you got to wiggle it and kind of work it to get it out I got to have two hands to do it so I'll bring you back when I got it removed Okay, so here I am down to the last little bit, and here is the pin removed. Then just pick the spring up off of there, and now you can slide the piston back, and it'll pop out the back side. Alright, so there's two O-rings in here actually. The, the one that really matters is the big one that's around the outside of the piston right in here this little one right here just keeps the air pressure inside the cylinder when the initial burst of air goes in to move this piston back so that you can advance another nail into the into the firing line there but uh, this one right here was the one that was the culprit this is the one that I left on there and it's just a standard size o-ring I grabbed it out of my little value pack of o-rings it is, uh, it was this size right here. Um, just compare it to whatever you got for a standard size O-ring and uh, should work. This is the old one right here and it had wear. And what was happening was the piston was getting 
cocked inside the cylinder because the o-ring had worn so far and it was dragging and it wouldn't move up uh, properly so with this new o-ring in there got no problems and it works just fine advances nails and i can nail all day so once you get that o-ring replaced with a new one just oil it up squeeze it in there and give it a little boogaboo and basically just do everything that we just did in reverse to get it out to uh, put it back together and uh, you should have success. Hope that's helpful. Take care.